Artemis 1, the high stakes test mission for NASA's new moon rocket, called off for a second time. The decision comes after a dangerous fuel leak that crews could not repair in time. NASA is now eyeing Monday as the next attempt. ABC's Morgan Norwood is at Kennedy Space Center with more. The launch for NASA's new moon rocket scrubbed for a second time. A scrub for the day here at the Kennedy Space Center. This time after a dangerous fuel leak that crews had been battling for hours on Saturday. Teams had tried to cap the leak by restarting the flow of liquid hydrogen, but after three hours of multiple troubleshooting attempts, decided to stand down. Hydrogen molecules are really, really small. They're tiny. And so you can do a leak check, let's say, for example, with helium and pass it. And then when you flow hydrogen, you're not so fortunate. Um, but uh, this is a learning process. NASA wants to send the Orion space capsule via the SLS rocket around the moon, pushing it to the limit before astronauts strap in on the next flight. If the five week demo with test dummies succeed, astronauts could fly around the moon in 2024, then land on it in 2025. NASA says the SLS won't fly though until it's completely ready. Sometimes we make mistakes, but we try to minimize those because these are human being li uh, lives on the top of that rocket. And I can tell you, when you strap into that rocket, you are very grateful that you've got a, a launch team like this. And NASA says they'll take everything that they learned from these past two scrubs as they continue to work on this SLS rocket. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.